Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here. This video is to show you the power of receiving feedback on your music, which is so, so important. And not just feedback from your family and friends, but unbiased feedback from real people who've never heard about you or your music. And a couple weeks ago, the reason why I'm filming this is because a couple weeks ago on this channel, I released a video talking about, you know, if you're planning on running ads, like doing YouTube ads, Facebook ads to your music, to your channel, to just promote you and your music, it really, really helps to get this kind of feedback on your songs to know how to target, how to go about targeting an audience, like what what kind of people, what demographics are they, the ages, what countries are they, are they from, what else do they listen to, what are their comments on your music that kind of can tie into the way that you're going to target your ads to make the most out of your music promotion. So I talked about this tool right here, which is part of Reverb Nation. It's called Crowd Review, and I don't really use Reverb Nation for anything else, really. It's just mostly for this tool which they say is you getting feedback from real people, real music fans. And um, and I ran this, I actually purchased um, this report for one of my songs. And the level of detail that I got for my songs was was awesome and so helpful. So I wanted to share this with you. And, um, and so you can see the example of what I received and see if it's right for you. So... The way you get to this, by the way, is if you need to have a Reverb Nation account, you need to log in. And once you log in, you need to go to Tools and Crowd Reviews. And once you go to Crowd Reviews, it'll take you to, if you've never run one of these before, um, it'll take you to this page where you can learn more about what this is. And so I'll show you what this looks like. So I ran crowd review. Um, I, I ended up purchasing 50 reviews for my song Cleopatra. You can purchase more. You can purchase 100, 200. They have different levels of packages, uh, which again, I talked more about it in my previous video. So I'll link to that video in the description so you could check that out. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to click on here and you can see there's different levels of feedback that you get on the song. First of all, there's a standard insight, which is really the overview or summary of what people thought about your song. So you get a rating, you get uh, a rating out of 10, and basically this is saying that I was in the 75th percentile out of all of the songs in my genre, which is pop, um, that people actually responded positively to. So. It gives you a general summary. Um, again, this whole uh, summary thing is not as valuable as diving deeper into what people said about the song, but you can kind of get a snapshot. So it says, generally, listener reaction was positive. Um, they reported a seven on average out of 10. Uh, they did want to hear your song again after listening to it once. Um, they kind of took a snapshot of the main words used and so you can see here they give you charts, different kinds of charts. Um, again, I'm going to kind of skim through this part because I want to show you the more detailed stuff. So they give you a snapshot of basically whatever's in the detailed report. So different kinds of words used, whether people want to hear it again. This is a few um, comments that were pulled out from the report. So this person gave it a 9 out of 10 and said, really love the sound of this song. It sounds like it should be a hit on the radio right now. I really believe the vocals go great with the instrumentals. Also like the lyrics. Inspires confidence and energy. I'd like to add this in my workout playlist. Great to run to. Artist, I will be researching more. So there's just so much value in that, in that um, comment because Let's say you were submitting the song to uh, to the Spotify editors for playlist consideration. You can touch upon these. You know, this song inspires confidence and energy. Um, it would be great on a workout playlist. Uh, you know, these kinds of things will also really help when you're running ads. So these descriptions, I found the comments from the individual reviewers themselves were the most valuable. Um, of course, you're not going to get great <laughs> reviews like that. Some people will love it. Some people will hate it. Uh, this person said, 
I thought this song sounded like an Instagram influencer created the song heavily overproduced, which made me doubt how good the artist is. Um, the background vocals of AA, you'll have to listen to the song to get to know what he means here, was kind of how I felt about the song A. It reminded me of something that was in an 80s movie soundtrack, which by the way, um, it does, it, I've noticed that some other people also commented with it has a little bit of an 80s kind of vibe, which I would like that totally wasn't my intention when I created it, but maybe some of the instruments gave that kind of vibe. Again, getting this outside perspective will really help um, take you out of the box in the way that you think about your music and the way your family and friends think about your music and give you just like unbiased blank canvas comments for you to work with. So they give you that standard insight. And then if you want these more in depth um, reports, you do need to pay extra. So this one, I wanted a songwriting analysis, which again, it gives you a summary here, reminded people of Britney, uh, made people feel energetic, interested and confident. Um, so again, you can take something like, you know, if people said you sounded like or reminded them of a certain artist, put those in the interests for your ads when you're targeting or doing your music promotions. Very, very valuable. Um, and also works when you're describing the song, like writing up descriptions or writing posts on your social media. Again, it shows you, this is another really valuable piece that I liked. It shows you um, the artist that other people thought you sounded like or they remind you of. So this was really valuable. It gives you um, an emotion of how this song made people, how, how this song made people feel. And like you have a whole chart here, um, how they classified the, the, the song in terms of genre was also valuable. Um, and then do you feel the lyrics fit with the music? Yes. Ratings of individual song components. This is to do with songwriting. So this is the songwriting analysis and you can see here, um, you can see individual scores on all of these things. So vocal performance, instrumental performance, lyrics, all that kind of stuff is shown right here. And this is again, diving into the individual pieces of songwriting, um, which you can learn more about that. When you go into audience identification, this is also where you will learn more about your audience. Now, this, th these reviewers, um, yeah, I believe, so they are in the States. So these are, to keep that in mind, the reviews that you'll get are from US, uh, USA listeners. I'm not entirely sure if, if that is intentional, like you can only do USA or if you, if they choose your placement. Uh, I'm not in the States, I'm in Canada. So I'm guessing that they only do this for reviewers in the USA. Um, so another thing is interesting to note is that where these reviewers listen to music the most. So the different primary listening outlets um, is also gonna help you again, target your, your music promotions. Uh, it gives you information about how many on average live performances they attend uh, per year and whether they'd want to hear the song again. Ethnicity with the highest affinity. So who, like what ethnicity liked your song the most? Um, never would have guessed East Asian or Asian. So again, more demographics, you know, more information about your audience. And this, uh, keep in mind that the more reviewers or reviews you purchase, the more, the better and more accurate your reports are going to be. So I purchased 50, you know, it might not entirely be reflective of my audience. And again, it's, it's specific to every single song. So this song, yes, it's very much about, um, female empowerment, girl power, that kind of thing. Um, it wasn't intentional for me to do that, but that's how it came across. And so it's going to be, so the reviews are going to be reflective of that and they'll give you the age and, and, uh, gender. 
Another thing that you could get a detailed report on is the production quality. If you're not quite sure if it's up to par with the other music that's out there on, in your genre, it would be good to purchase that. Um, I didn't need to get that. I wanted to know more about the other stuff. So uh, I think you can click on it. Okay, so it tells you a little bit about what that information would look like if you were interested in it. Uh, let's go to commercial potential. So this is a general report on whether your song would be a hit on the radio. Um, so based on the results of this report, your song's not likely to be commercially successful. Reviewers were not likely to purchase a song, um, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can read more into that, but again, it depends on your goals. So you don't necessarily need to get this specific report if you know you're just making music for releasing on your social media for example not so much for radio or anything like that i was just curious so i threw that in as another detailed report and um also i'm interested in learning about song placements for tv and film so i wanted to hear more about what they think and uh someone actually someone actually said in their comments that, the, that they could hear this song in like a romantic comedy kind of movie. This was playing in their head. Um, so that kind of information, again, is useful for, you know, if you're looking into that placement side of things, or if you want to use that as the interests for when you're promoting your music using ads. So those are the, the detailed reports. This was my favorite. You can read every single review uh, in detail, every single comment that someone left here. Um, you can even click on this and see their exact answers for every single question that was that was asked of them. Um, the reports kind of put all of this information together in in those summaries that I showed you. But if you wanted to dive deep, um, very very useful and. You know, some people say, oh, this is this whole thing is just like bots. Um, but with the level of detail of these comments, um, here's another one. I thought this uh, was a somewhat interesting song. Chorus could have been catch here. I thought the instrumental did a good job of sounding Egyptian. Singer had a pleasant song. Lyrics were boring. Next one. Love the lyrics of the song. Ideal girl power anthem. Could really empower women of all ages. Vocals were crystal clear, brought an elegant edge to the raw strength of the lyrics. So that kind of level of detail, I don't think would come from bots. Um, I mean, I don't know. Technology is getting great nowadays. But, you know, this regardless, this kind of information is useful to you at the end of the day, especially when you're doing your music promotion on social media, paid promotions with ads, just describing the song to people. I really, really enjoyed doing this. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something that you'd you'd go ahead and do, uh, purchase crowd reviews for your song. If not, why? And if you've already done this before, let me know your, uh, your experience with it and what you thought about it. Again, I'll link to that previous video on this channel where it goes more in depth about the different packages that you can purchase and how much they cost and that kind of thing. I actually go through that, uh, that whole process. So I'll link to that below along with Cleopatra. So you can listen to that song and kind of get a feel for what these guys are talking about the reviews. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If so, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, or leaving me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.